What's up, YouTubers? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install a custom recovery and unlock the bootloader for the LG F60 US variant, the LG Tribute, all variants, and the Transpire uh, for Verizon. Before we get started, I'd like to give a big thanks to Unjustified Dev. Um, he's been instrumental in creating the uh, recovery images that we were that we're uh, will be using to flash custom recovery on our phones uh, as well as cr developing uh, custom ROMs for us to be able to install so a huge thanks to unjustified dev man you rock before we begin a little disclaimer uh, while this method works most of the time and shouldn't harm your phone uh, this is a bit more of a more serious modification than simply rooting your device. So even though it, this method does work most of the time, there's always there is a chance that uh, uh, you could uh, damage your device or brick your soft brick your device. So please keep that in mind when this method that uh, will really with any uh, modification to your phone. Okay. Uh, to get started, uh, you're going to need to download a recovery image that corresponds with your device. Now, um, I have a, I'll have a link down in the description to this page here um, where you can get it. Um, now, since I'm using the US F60, um, the product name for that is MS395, so I'm going to go into this file. But if you're using the Tribute, you're going to go into the LS660 or if you're using the Transpire, the VS810PP. Okay, let's go into this folder for the Metro S60. And what you wanna go into is you wanna go into this file, this TWRP file. And you're going to download the this recovery image for the F60 if you're using the F60, or if you're using the Tribute, it's gonna be a file that's named for the the tribute or the transpire and you're going to download it uh, i believe you can download this directly to your phone um, using your mobile browser um, you don't necessarily have to use the pc uh, at least i don't think okay once you download that um, it should download directly into your internal storage and that's where you want to have the recovery image file placed. One more thing before we officially get started. Uh, you want to make sure that you have a rooted device. Um, if your phone is not rooted, this method will not work. Okay, now once you have that image recovery file transferred to your phone or downloaded directly to your phone, um, you're going to go into the Google Play Store and you're going to download and install the app Flashify. That's this app right here. And that's the app that's going to install the recov custom recovery image um, on the F60 or whichever LG phone that's compatible, um, either the Tribute or the Transpire. Okay, so we're going to Flashify. Um, when you install Flashify and you open the app for the first time, um, it's going to ask for super user access. So grant it uh, super user access. Okay, uh, you're going to go to select this option called recovery image, because that's what we're going to do. Um, you're going to hit choose a file. And you can either use the file explorer that comes with the Flashify app, or you can use one that's part of your uh, that's a third party app or file browser. I'll use the ES File Explorer and just go to where exactly you have the custom image recovery installed on your phone and you're going to tap that. Whoops. Let's go back. All right. We're going to use that. And you can select the normal Android way. Um, when it's going to ask, Flash recovery, you can hit yep. Um, since I already did that on my phone, um, I'm going to hit to the maybe not option. 
and it's going to take uh, about 10, 15 seconds for it to complete the installation. And once it does, it's going to come up with an option of you go back to the normal menu or you reboot. You want to hit that reboot option. I'm going to reboot here myself. And what that does is that's going to reboot to your new custom recovery. The uh, team win. Now what the TWRP or the team win recovery project is, is it's a recovery that allows you to back up your system and apps and it's what you're going to use to install custom ROMs onto your phone. Now what I would strongly suggest doing is when you're in, when you first boot into the uh, twerp recovery menu, uh, is to hit backup. What this does is this backs up your system, all of your apps, your your app data, your contacts, um, your Wi-Fi passwords, and all the system information. So. It's good just in case of, let's say, you make some root modifications that end up damaging your phone or you delete some system apps that you, you deleted by mistake. You can restore your system back to, the, back to stock with the uh, restore option. And you can select where you're going to store the backup of your system. You can either do it, have it stored in the external SD card like I do here, or you can change it into the internal storage. But I'm going to keep it on the external. Because a good thing is if you store it on the external, on your uh, external SD card, you can also transfer it or copy it to your PC. So you have a, an extra copy backed up just in case if anything happens to your phone or your SD card, you can still recover your phone back to its stock. So, all right, as you can see here, I have boot, system, and data checked. All those three checked. And then to back up, I'm gonna simply swipe, and it's going to begin backing up the system. Now, it could take anywhere from about uh, five to 10 minutes since, uh, depending on how big your your system is, s since you're backing up lots of app, maybe some apps, if you have a lot of apps installed, it might take a little bit longer. So I'm just gonna skip ahead here. Okay, the backup is complete, it says backup completed in 355 seconds. And you just simply press the reboot system to head back to the uh, normal main menu when your phone is going to reboot after that. Now, the official name for that is creating a NanoDroid backup, um, which backs up your entire system, um, either to the internal memory or to the external SD card. Um, once the system loads back up, okay. Okay, we'll keep airplane mode on for this demonstration. Okay. Um, if you ever want to get back into to reboot, into recovery, you can go into the Flashify app and you can hit this menu button here and it's going to give you some options. You can select reboot into recovery or just a simple reboot. Now, let's say, for example, something happens, your phone gets soft bricked and you want to also try to get into recovery. You can do that from where the phone's off. So I'll power the phone off now. Now, when the phone is off, what you want to do is you want to hold, press and hold the power and the volume down key. So what you want to do is press and hold that both of those buttons together, 
And when the LG logo, the instant the LG logo pops up, wait one second, or release, or rather, when the LG logo pops up, release both buttons for about a second, and then press and hold both buttons again. So press and hold the power and the volume down key. When the LG logo comes up, let go of both buttons and then for a second, and then hold them again. And then what's gonna happen is you're gonna see this screen, factory data reset, erase all user data and restore default settings. You wanna hit yes. And then select yes again. Now don't worry, it's not deleting all your data. It's gonna go directly into the Chirp recovery menu. And there you have it. So let's say if something happens to your phone, you soft brick it, you make a mistake, the phone refuses to boot up normally, you can go into this menu and select all the, the options, either install another, install a custom ROM or restore your, uh, uh, restore the, the system uh, backup that you made uh, that we just made, or perhaps that you, that you'll make. Okay, uh, and there you have it. There it's uh, how you install the Terp Recovery or Team Recovery project for the F60, the Tribute, and the Transpire. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment down below. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.